Ben Rathbun's friend Jessica Siciliano was a major part of the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days tell-all finale and fans want to know more about the Michigan resident. Ben fell hopelessly in love with Mahogany, a woman 30 years younger than him after talking to her online. Mahogany showed Ben the true meaning of love which helped and make up his mind to marry her, 52-year-old Ben's decision to fly to Peru to meet Mahogany was slammed by his friend Jessica, who was sure the law student was a scammer. While 90 Day Fiancé fans didn't meet Jessica after B90 episode 6, she was mentioned during the tell-all part 1, when Gino Palazzolo was accused of texting her behind Jasmine Pinita's back. Dot upon her introduction in the tell-all part 2, Jessica started off by asking if Mahogany loved Ben. Jessica questioned Mahogany asking Ben for $1,000 when she could have asked for it from her parents. Jessica accused Mahogany of having provocative photos on her Instagram and Facebook when she was too shy to video call Ben. Let's not play games Jessica told Mahogany when it was revealed she got back together with Ben after he went to Peru a second time. However, Mahogany claimed Jessica loves to stay in the drama because that's what Ben had told her about his friend. Upon seeing Ben being two-faced, Jessica realized she was supporting the wrong person. She called Ben out for being the fakest person she's ever known for being a double agent. She said Ben was a fraud, a liar, thirsty as hell, a narcissist, selfish, and delusional, while apologizing to Mahogany because she was the real victim and hoped for her to see Ben's true colors. Jessica and Ben's friendship was fractured because of the tell-all, but both their Instagram profiles suggest they're back to being the buddies they always were. My husband and I are blessed to have Ben in our lives, wrote Jessica in her latest post dedicated to Ben. Ben had earlier posted a story in which he wrote about Jessica dealing with the loss of her father and sister both in the last five months. He worried about Jessica now having to deal with the hate that was going to come her way after the tell-all. For every single person who thinks they know Ben, or me, from a reality TV show, I promise you that's impossible Jessica wrote in her note defending former pastor Ben. Dot while Jessica mentioned she works 70 hours a week in the tell-all, she didn't talk about her job as a Detroit, Michigan-based realtor. Along with her husband Charlie, who's also appeared on 90 Day Fiancé with Ben, Jessica runs the Siciliano Group. The couple's profile on their The Siciliano Group website says that they always had a passion for helping others, connecting with their community, and building lifelong relationships. It was during 2014 when Jessica and Charlie were walking their border collies Vinny and Matcha through one of their favorite Birmingham neighborhoods when they saw so many for sale signs that they took it as a sign for them to get into the real estate business. Not only did Jessica lock horns with both Ben and Mahogany in the 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Tell All, she also had to face the wrath of fierce Latina Jasmine. Jessica addressed Gino texting her about her being Sicilian, and Jasmine claimed she was baker than Mahogany's filters. As per Jasmine, Gino was never flirting with Jessica because she's not his type. While Jessica did make amends with Mahogany, things between her and Jasmine didn't end well. Eventually, Jessica wasn't able to prove that Gino texted her first, and he was leaving this story open-ended. In the end, Jessica is not getting any hate as Ben predicted. 90 Day Fiancé fans are instead applauding Jessica for telling Ben everything that they wish they could say to his face. I'm this, I'm this trip to, I'm this, 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 I'
Just to check it. 